Hi everyone and welcome back to my sewing room. But as you can see, we are not in my sewing room. We are again at my friend Gail's house. Today I thought it would be really fun for us to make a jacket. And I have this really cool pattern and this um, video and probably the next couple of videos are going to include a little bit of quilting, a little bit of piecing, a little bit of garment making, a little bit of imagination and um, creativity and a little bit of learning how to use some decorative stitches on your sewing machine. So that's a lot involved. And if that interests you, then stay tuned because we're going to have a lot of fun. My name is Rosemary and this is Enchanting Rosemary Sewing and Embroidery. channel know that I went to Missouri Star Quilt Company last year and I got a little crazy and I bought a little different a lot of different kinds of fabrics and I did get a jelly roll that had um, denim blues in it which I think are really pretty all different colors of denim blues and then I found another jelly roll that I thought went with it really well there's more whites in it but there the whites have denim blue and they have a little bit of browns in there as well and I just think they go together really well and I haven't done anything with it I was thinking about making a quilt out of it but the more I think about it the more I think it would be really fun to make this jacket um, this is one of the jackets I'm going to be showing in So Fun in June, so you'll probably see it completely finished and you'll be able to put your hands onto it. And I confess I'm not even sure what I'm doing. I'm kind of making it up as I go along, which is really a lot of fun to do sometimes. The directions in the pattern actually tell you to take the top fabric, the bottom fabric, and the batting and quilt them together. And I thought, um, why would I want to do that when I could quilt pieces together? Wouldn't that be a whole lot more fun? So that is what we're going to do. We're going to quilt some pieces together on it, and then we're going to put it together as a jacket. I also picked up along the way a, a fat quarter pack of also denim blues that I thought would be fun for the bias tape that I'm going to have to cut to go around the outside. And then there is a lining on it, and I have this it's a kind of an old fashioned calico blue to go on the lining, but I think that's gonna work really pretty. So I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move over to the cutting table. I'm gonna show you basically how I'm gonna get started doing this. And um, let's just go and do that. Okay, so here are all my um, jelly roll strips, both the light ones and the dark ones. I'm gonna go ahead and move most of them out of the way. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to sew some long strips. I'm going to take this one and then possibly this one and then maybe even this one. And then I'm going to sew them with a quarter inch seam the whole strip down. And I'm probably going to do maybe even as many as 10 of them in a row. And then we're going to turn them and we're going to cut them and put them together kind of like um, a Bargello quilt. And then we're going to sew them right onto the batting and the lining fabric. So first let's get this done. I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. I'm going to do the quarter inch seam allowance and press it out. And I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's my piece. I sewed them all together, then I pressed them all nice and flat. I ended up doing more than 10, I ended up doing 12. And the biggest reason for that is I want this piece here to be long enough that I can put it, uh, I can lay the strips down on my jacket piece and sew them without having to add anything to it. So I think that'll make it long enough. So now what I wanna do is I wanna cut them into strips. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold this in half like this. So I'm not trying to cut too long of a strip at once. And then I'm going to use this ruler. And I need to cut all the selvage edges off. So let's do that first. Cut the selvage off. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly cut strips. I don't want it to be have any kind of organization to it whatsoever. I am going to, of course, make sure that I've got a straight line at the top and the bottom so they're not crooked. But then I'm just going to just I'll cut about an inch and a half there and maybe two inches and then even a little bit bigger. No organization to this whatsoever. I definitely don't want to get any smaller than an inch. Oops. Cut this. I don't know how I did that. I didn't push hard enough. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we're ready for the next step. And I have taken the pattern piece and cut out the two fronts in batting and also in the lining fabric. So we're gonna take just one of each of those. And line them up. And if you follow the directions in the pattern, it tells you to take the top piece and then line this up. And then it basically gives you instructions on how to quilt it. Um, but well, we're gonna do something different. So now I've got these lined up and I've got my strips that I've created. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna take the first piece and I'm gonna lay it right here like this. And then I'm gonna take the second piece and I'm gonna, um, move it because I don't want them to line up perfectly but it's not like a Bargello I don't care about whether the colors match up or not I just want it to um to look like a quilt so I want to put the next piece maybe down here a little bit so in order to do that I'm probably going to have to um at move it down this way and take something off the bottom and move it up here to the top because obviously that's not going to be long enough and then this piece right here is really not long enough. It starts here and ends here. So I, I think I'm gonna have to combine a couple of pieces to get that to work. Um, but I'm gonna start sewing them on the sewing machine Want and, and start with this one. I don't have to put a seam here, but I do have to put a seam. When I put this piece on top of this piece, I'm gonna sew a quarter inch here, and then I'm gonna fold it back. I'm gonna press it down. So let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, so I did that. And um, I think that looks pretty good. I actually took two of these long pieces and sewed them together um, and then sewed them down here. And I'll probably have to do that over here a little bit as I get higher and higher because I obviously, even with 12 pieces, did not make that quite big enough. But that's okay. I can make it work. Um, at, when you noticed when I was cutting these apart, I did not measure them. So some of them are wider than others. But I will um, sew like this piece down here at the bottom of this one. And then I'll, I'll even it all up so it's the same size. So it'll work for me. Um, but I wanted to show you that after I do a couple of these, then I will take one of these extra jelly roll pieces and I will sew it here. So I'm going to lay this here and I'm going to stitch it and then I'm going to fold it this way. And then I'm going to put another piece on there. So every once in a while it kind of breaks up the squares and stuff. So I'm going to keep on doing that and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. continued to put the pieces together on this piece of batting and this is what I ended up with. I'm very pleased with the way it came out. I um, kind of mixed up the squares a little bit and extended some of the uh, some of the strips so that they fit in there. And then once I got it all sewn on there, you do have to turn it around to the other side and look how nice that lining looks. I really like it a lot. Um, and then use the piece that you've already cut out to cut off all that excess. Anything that doesn't fit in the pattern piece, you're gonna cut off so you end up with something that looks like a quilted front piece, which is what the pattern told you they wanted you to do, except for we pieced it. 
and that's will be the the front part of the jacket i'll do another front of the part of the jacket and then i'll do the back and the sleeves and then you know what i read the pattern and it tells you to you cut some bias strips and sew the side seams on and then it just says finish the edges. I thought that was a little strange. I wasn't sure what they wanted me to do. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to my serger and I'm gonna serge every single one of these edges so that when I go to start piecing it together, I'll have a finished edge already and I won't have to worry about that being um, something that doesn't look nice on the inside of the jacket. And then it does tell you to put bias binding around it and we'll do that as well. And I think this is a good place to stop. Um, next week when we come back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use some of the decorative stitches in your machine to do stitch in the ditch to kind of get that crazy quilt effect. And we might even do some bobbin work. If you've never done bobbin work before, it's really fun and it looks great on a piece like this for the jacket. So um, make sure that you come back and you see some new sewing techniques next week. In the meantime, start working on your jacket and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.